Okay, everybody, so in this segment, we're going to look at how to use Google Forms to generate the Secret Santa list. Uh, a lot of people do this Pollyanna gift exchange, and it's always up to some one person to get it all organized and keep the list. And so if that person is you, this video is for you, too. So I've gone to Google.com, and then I just clicked the sign in, and I signed in with my um, Gmail credentials, my Google credentials. And from the apps panel, you're just going to go ahead and choose Drive. Now I'm not going to click on Drive right now because I have a lot of stuff in Drive and I don't want to bore you with all of my files. So I'm just going to come up here and click on a folder that I already have um, created with the Secret Santa sample that is now empty. So what we're going to use is a Google Form. If you're using this classic version of Drive, if you go to the Create menu, you're going to find Form right here in the menu. They're kind of pushing and promoting this new version of Google Drive. So I'm going to show you what that looks like from the gear setting. I'm going to experience the new drive. And if you've gone to the new drive and you want to go back to the old drive, right now you can go to the gear setting and go back to the old version, which is what I've done here. So the new drive is similar, uh, but of course different. And now where it said create, it now says new. I'm still in my Secret Santa sample folder, but if I go to new, you'll see that it's just docs, sheets, and slides. Forms are no longer found on the main menu. They're one of the most powerful tools that Google has to offer here. I'm not sure why it slipped to a sub-menu, but I'm going to go right to forms. Now our form is super, super simple. Okay, I'm just going to give it a title, and it's going to be called Secret Santa. And, you know, this is for any gift exchange. It doesn't have to be, you know, um, any sort of holiday in particular. It could be for anything. Okay, so we'll just go OK. And I have my, this, my um, form is now named. Okay, if you've never made a form, they are so terrific. And we don't need a progress bar. It's going to be a really short form. And we are going to allow only one response per person. Okay, and we're not going to shuffle the question order, but if you are in a teaching situation, you might want to shuffle the question order if you're using this form. So here we'll put a description and um, it says, we want to give people a deadline. Please provide your response by, well, let's say December 14th. Okay, and if you want to be in the pool okay or exchange or whatever wording you want to use okay so the first question will be very important your name okay now people could type whatever name they want and you could just have this be instead of a multiple choice a text entry area but I'm going to you know give them a choice of people because I know who I want to be in the pool. So instead of a text box, I'm going to say, I want to choose from a list. Okay. And so here are the people that are in this and we'll say Sam and Alex. And, um, this does, this could be Aaron, you know, Chuck's girlfriend. If you need to, oops, what did I do? I hit enter. So let me come back up here. Chuck's girlfriend. See how easy it is to enter. And this is, you know, Aaron, um, uh, Jill's little sister. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right, you can have this be whatever you want. Uh, you want to make sure that anybody in the pool ideally knows each other but it's a great way to be a mixer kind of thing as well okay so we would go on and add as many people as we want and we'll, we'll just say Bobby Joe for one more okay. alrighty and then we'll say done for this question and we'll make this required okay so they have to tell us our name their name so here's whoop, we'll say done sorry you can't see this in the preview because you're editing We'll look at it in the preview in a moment. We're going to add an item here, 
and we're gonna make this paragraph text because we want them to give us several ideas. A text box will hold as much information as you want, but the paragraph text makes it look bigger and encourages you to write more. So, uh, what would you like? Okay. Oh my, my typing is really bad tonight. And here's help text. So, uh, remember spending limit is $25 and um, feel free to give options okay people love options and then you can be surprised and there's their longer answer they have to give us something and we say done okay and the last item we will add is a text box and we'll say your email your preferred email how about that because that's gonna be the way we can you know, contact them with their match, who they're gonna get. And we'll make that required and say done. All right, now, so it looks a little boring and that's okay. We're gonna look at this confirmation page. It says your response has been recorded. We're just gonna say thank you. Uh, I'll send out your match on December 15th. And then see you at the party. Okay, uh, so well, I'm not gonna publish this, but some people do publish depending on your form to show what other people did and they could change their answers. I'm not going to worry about saying change their answers because that means people are gonna re have to be signed in to their Google account to do this and I don't wanna have to do that. I want anybody to be able to, to fill out this form without having it, uh, a Google account. Okay, so now we come up here and I wanna change the theme. I want it to look a little nicer. So I'm gonna change the theme and they have some new themes over here. And I think I like this one. Uh, they don't have anything super Christmassy, but this is what it would look like, okay? And now you say, hey, it's not working, but you see all I'm doing is picking a theme. I'm not really editing anymore and I'm not previewing the form. So if I like this theme, great. Now, I can view the live form up here. So if I go to the live form, now I can test it. So my name, gee, my name's not on the list. Oh, and I spelled, oops, I made a typo there. So I'm gonna have to go back and fix Bobby Joe's name. Um, I'm not on the list and I haven't put an option where I could add somebody. So that might be something I need to change. And see, I can't submit it with that field not filled out. So let's come back to the form, okay? And we're gonna edit the questions. And we're gonna edit this one with your name, okay? So this is Bobby Joe. Okay. And I'm gonna put the option here, okay? Cindy. I'm gonna put me in here. Um, and they have to choose from a list. For this one, it doesn't give you the choice to add a name that's not on the list. So if you are opening this party up to several people or, or you know, friends of friends, you wanna just make this a text box. That way people can put in anything they want, okay? So I'll say done, but it just makes people nice when they, yeah, they feel good if they see their name on the list. So we're gonna view the live form again. From the drop down, we can see that spelling correction and my name is there. What would I like? And I would like fuzzy slippers, okay? Uh, size eight, please. Okay, and my email is my Gmail account. And I'll submit it, okay. So there's our thank you note and the form is now done and it's live. So how do you get it out to people? Well, there are lots of ways to send the form. Okay, you can send the form through Google Plus if you have an open invitation. You can put it out on Facebook through a group. Um, you could send it to particular email addresses or you could just grab the short URL and if you have um, you know, a gathering where everybody's together, I know this still, even for short, it's kind of long and clunky, but you could print this out and people could go to the web form or you could send, you know, however you need to get them to this form, it's now live and accepting um, submissions. 
Okay, so I'll say done. And let's look at what happens when you get the responses. Um, I need to make a few more responses so that you can see how we're gonna process this later. So I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna, uh, this was back in the original one, so I'm gonna just reload it. Okay, and I can only fill it out once. So it knows it was me, okay? So I'm gonna come back to this form and I'm going to come down here and doo -doo -doo. let's see, where was that? Only allow one person, okay? One, one response per person. I'm changing that because I wanna do a sample so you can see some more. So we're gonna go back to the view live form and I'm gonna be Sam and Sam wants a plunger. I don't know, okay? And this is Sam at IAM.com, okay? So I put AIM, that's an old provider, I am. okay? And then we come back here and we're just gonna reload the form And I'm just gonna keep reloading it, okay? And I'm gonna do Erin, Chuck's girlfriend, and she would like a, a margarita mixer, okay? And again, they could write whatever they want it. And so this is Erin at my girl, okay? And submit, and they get the thank you message. And we're gonna go to the live form again. And Chuck would probably be coming too, but um, we're gonna say Jill's little sister. And she would like a Barbie. And, um, oh, holiday Barbie. Holiday Barbie, okay. And this is um, EJP at Gmail. Okay, and this is not a real email address, so don't try and send this to them. And there we go. So now that we've had a couple entries, let's take a look at what where they go. I'm gonna close the form, and you're gonna see in my Secret Santa sample, I have the form, and I also have the responses. So I'm going to open up the responses, and it makes this wonderful little spreadsheet with your name, what would you like, and your preferred email. Terrific. Okay, there's a little timestamp there here. So if we were going to cut off at the 14th at midnight, we could cut this off. So now we need to match this to the, the next person. So we're gonna say, and this, the more you think about it, the more confusing it gets. So I found the word has works really well. So Sandy has whoever and what they want, okay? And, um, and then this is the gift, or wants. So what I want you to do is just copy, okay, everything with the names and the what they want. We're gonna highlight it and copy it. And then just jog it over, but knock it over a, uh, down a couple rows. And then paste, okay? So it's not aligned with the same person. Hmm, why did Sam get a plunger twice? Somehow I resubmitted that one when I was uh, testing but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna do that. All right. And so this Sam, of course, is a, a mistake. So what I'm just gonna do with that is move that one up. Okay. And you won't have that happen because you, your people won't be hitting reload and making a mess of things. But you'll see now that I've randomized it just by when they, um, they submitted. Okay, and as long as the person doesn't have themselves, then they're fine. So what you would do now is either look at my other video where you could file and download this as a Microsoft Excel file and use Outlook to send a custom email uh, out using the email address. And you would say, so, so you have this person, Erin, Chuck's girlfriend, and she would like a margarita mixer and it would use mail merge to fill in the fields exactly as they entered okay if you don't want to go to the whole mail merge thing that's quite all right you can just open up your email and copy this email address into the two and then just 
copy this information and paste it into the body and send. So you would email Sam that you have Erin Jill's little sister and she wants a Barbie holiday Barbie. Okay, and very, very easy. So let me just show you how that would be. So if I copy this and then I'm gonna go into my mail okay. and I have lots of mail. Okay, so I would simply go into compose and I'll go to recipient and paste. Okay, happens to be me, I recognize myself. And I'm gonna give it a title of Secret Santa. If you use one of the uh, plugins, you can actually make a canned response for Secret Santa, okay? It wouldn't necessarily have your uh, title, but if you wanted some words about the party when you're all meeting, you could already have that pre-filled. So let me show you. Uh, reminder, uh, the party is Christmas Eve at our house. Okay. And you could even put the map in there because you know Google Maps are great. Um, and I'm not going to tell you where I live. Okay. And then you could just paste in the Secret Santa thing. And then you could save that. Okay. You would save it as a new canned response. And then you could just keep calling that up. Those canned responses are great. They're an add-in in the labs. Um, and if you have any questions about that, just contact me, but it's under the Google Labs in the setting. So let me just finish what I was doing. So I have Aaron Chuck's girlfriend and she wants a margarita mixer. So we're just gonna say, there you go. That's what she wants. Or if you right click, you can paste as plain text and then you don't get the table. So um, if you just hit pay, paste, you get the table cells, which are not horrible. Most people would be fine with that. But the second option, that's a little cleaner, is to right click and paste as plain text. And then you don't get that table. Okay. I know I did that a little fast, so I'm just going back there. So, so you could say, you know, you have, and she wants, remember if you, if you only have a few people, that's fine. If you have a lot of people, then you should definitely watch my other video, which lets you download this and use Outlook to generate this through a mail merge um, with Word. Definitely worth your time. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to you and uh, streamlines that whole secret Santa process. Have a great one. And I'm Sandy McVeigh. Thanks for watching.